Hi everybody, it's Jill Blanchett with Green Thumb Stampers. I'm here today for a fun technique called glittered acetate and I think you're really going to like it. It's beautiful. So hang on and I'll get you started. Last weekend I was surfing around on the internet and I found this new tech, well new to me technique called glittered acetate, I believe is what she called it. Now I shook it up a little bit, did not do this card the same way that she did so maybe I'll do another video and show you the way that she did it but um, this is what we're gonna make and you see how pretty and glittery that is under there so this is what we're gonna do I've got a normal five and a half by um, four and a quarter inch base that I put a shaded spruce layer on and it it's not even anything that I measured um, like to the eighth, I think it's probably like to the 16th. I didn't want to make the whole base shaded spruce. I wanted to have a little bit of the white to break it up. So I just put this little tiny border on there. Then you need to have a very detailed die. And I grabbed this one from the two-tone flora and I've shown you a video about this before to help get this out of the um, dye from sticking. You just put some wax paper in there and then that will help cut the pieces out and keep them from the dye itself from sticking in there. But now I got to go and roll it and get all those little pieces out. So hang on. Using the dye roller brush this is just a matter of seconds to get all these little pieces out. I did miss a couple little centers there. But it just takes no time when you use the um, wax paper. So I'm going to go with this as is. But before I um, put it down, I will trim the border a little bit more. Because I do want, I'll, I'll trim this down because I do want a little bit smidge of the green to show as well. But I'm going to get started to show you the technique and then we'll worry about all those details after. So you'll need a detailed die. You'll need a piece of acetate. And then you'll need a piece of like a glimmer, shimmer, holographic... Um, iridescent some type of a paper that um, you can put underneath and so I then took my die cut piece and I'm going to tape it to my acetate and like I said I, I'm going to trim that down a little bit more uh, let's see I'm going to tape it here because I don't I'm not going to color there and I guess I'm going to call that good for now oh maybe a, yeah I'm going to call that good for now well no I lied I'm going to take a little tiny piece of my wall safe tape and put it up here in the corner for now okay then you're going to take some bright colorful Stampin' Blends, whatever colors you want, and we are going to color, use the um, die cut as a stencil, and we're going to color right on it. So we're going to, I'm going to color in the leaves, and I'm not going to color this whole thing on camera. I will pause here in a second. I just wanted you to see how I'm doing this. And I got enough lights on. I can't see what I'm, where I'm coloring. It's too bright. I guess that's a good problem to have. So as you can see, I'm just coloring in where the leaves are. And you can color any color you want, as much or as little as you want. Um, I also did color this little guy down here as some greenery. And it's hard to tell on your die cut exactly, when it gets into all this detail, exactly how much 
is like the flower and such. So I'm guessing that that might also be a leaf. Probably not now that I see it colored. Then I've got some, um, that was shaded spruce. I've got some dark orchid oasis. I'm going to come in and color this one. And this is all I'm doing. I'm just coloring on the acetate. The pieces that I think belong to the flowers. That I want. I'll color that little piece too. Okay. So this is the idea. We're just going to color. I've got some dark polished pink. We'll come in here and we'll color this big one. I'm going to go in circles, so hopefully the camera isn't jiggling too much from my circle motions. It appears maybe it's jiggling. So I'm going to stop here in a second. I'll put you on pause, and I will continue to color my flowers in. Okay, so I went and I colored in a whole bunch of my flowers and my greenery. And now we're going to take our tape off, and we're going to glue the paper die cut to the acetate and so we're going to be careful that we get the glue on the paper and I'm going to use try and use my um, tape I'm not so sure if the liquid glue sticks or not to the um, let me try. I started, yes, it does. I started to do this, um, and had, a, had to start over. So I used the liquid glue on that first one and it worked just fine. But you want to get the, ta the glue where it's not going to be seen. So I'm just gonna, um, stick it on some of these bigger areas and just randomly around on it so that we can get our acetate glued to the die cut like this and then we're gonna trim it down so I'm gonna go with I'm going to just pull it in and just start giving all the sides and stuff a trim and try and trim it down to the size of my acetate because my acetate was the right size when I started. So let me finish cutting. Okay, so now I trimmed it down and now we're going to pop it up on top of our glimmer paper. See how beautiful that looks, guys? I absolutely love it. So I'm going to take my little dimensionals and we'll do the same thing. We're going to stick the dimensionals in spots that aren't going to be seen through the front. And then it will help to stick it in place. Let me... And let's see, I'm going to have to trim some down. I guess even though I got the small ones here, maybe I'll have to cut them in half. A couple thin lines worth. Let's see. Get some up here on this leaf. Stuck to my fingernail polish. And so I'm going to pause you again while I search for places to stick these little gems. Hold on. All right, I'm back again. I got some dimensionals stuck all over this. And then we're going to flip it over and put it down on the sparkle paper, or whatever you decided to use. 
and stick it there. And then now, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a little bit too wide, the pink. So I'll see if I can slide it under there. And then just trim the, the um, pink down. You could use your scissors if you wanted to. I don't want to. I don't think that one really sticks out. <clears throat> I sneezed while I was putting dimensionals on and now I, I'm all froggy. All right, we'll cut this bottom one a little bit. All right, we're gonna call that good. And then we're gonna come over and we're just gonna glue that onto our base, like this. And I did cut, I got a little bit close trimming my border. But I'm gonna glue this down. I'm gonna pull it down here so I can see where I'm at. Stick it down like this, and that's pretty much all you got. Isn't that just the neatest little technique there? I love it. I hope you like that. I just love how this looks. If you give it a try, be sure and post it on the Creativity and Bloom Facebook site. We'd love to see your creations. Have a great weekend.